Good day, Grade 9 learners. So this will be our first video lesson in Mathematics 9. So I hope that this would help you in uh, studying your self-learning module. So let's have our lesson for today. That is all about writing quadratic equation in both general form and standard form. So in expressing quadratic equations in standard form, So, it is in the form of ax squared plus bx equals to c, while general form is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. So now, we will be having our examples and then we need to express each example in both general form and standard form. So let's have the first one. 3x minus 5x squared equals to 6. So let's start with the standard form. So how are we going to write it in standard form? So yung highest degree niya ay 2. So therefore, yun yung nasa pinakaunahan. So we can write it as negative 5x squared plus 3x equals to 6. So, since negative yung nasa unahan, so we need to change all the signs. Or we need to multiply it by negative 1. So, changing all the signs or multiplying it by negative 1, it will become 5x squared minus 3x equals to negative 6. So, this will be the standard form. So, how about the general form? So, it should be in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So, ililipat lang natin yung constant, which is yung negative 6, doon sa my left side. And it should be equal to 0. So, it will become 5x squared minus 3x. Then, the additive inverse of negative 6 is positive 6 equals 0. So, that will be the general form. Okay? So, let's have example 2. We have 7x plus 2x squared plus 3 equals to 6x. So, kung mababansin nyo, doon sa ating given, we have like terms, which is yung 7, 6, 7x and 6x. So, we need to combine like terms such that 2x squared plus 7x. The additive inverse of 6x is negative 6x equals Ililipat natin yung constant doon sa my right side. And the additive inverse of positive 3 is negative 3. Then, we need to combine 7x and negative 6x. So, we just subtract 7x minus 6x. So, that is 2x squared plus 7x minus 6x is x equals to negative 3. So, this will be the standard form. And then, general form, that is 2x squared plus x. Ilipat lang yung nating negative 3, it will become positive 3 equals to 0. So, this will be the general form of the given quadratic equation. So, for our third example, we have 3x times the quantity of 3x plus 6 
minus 5 equals to 0. So, we can apply here uh, multiplying of polynomials using distributive property. So, we need to multiply 3x by the given binomial 3x plus 6. So, we will be starting 3x times 3x. So, 3 times 3 is 9. You have x times x is x squared. And then, 3 times 6 is 18. So, you have positive 18x. Okay? Minus 5 equals to 0. Then, kuhanin lang natin yung additive inverse ng negative 5. Ililipat natin sa my right side. So, it will become 9x squared plus 18x equals positive 5. So, this will be the standard form. And by the way, this will be the general form. So, let's have our last example. 4. 3x plus 6 times 3x minus 2 equals to 8. So, mababansin sa given natin, binomial multiply to a binomial. So, we can use here the FOIL method. So, remember the FOIL method, the first terms, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms to get the product of these two binomials. So, we will be starting with the first terms. So, first terms natin, 3x and 3x. So, that is 9x squared. Outer terms. So, you have here 3x times negative 2. That will be your outer terms. Again, 3x times negative 2, you have negative 6x. Then, you have here the inner terms. 6 times 3x, you have positive 18x. And then, you have the last terms. You have negative 2 and 6. So, 6 times negative 2, you have negative 12 equals 8. So, combining like terms to simplify, so you have here 9x squared, negative 6x plus 18x, so that is 18 minus 6, that is positive 12x equals to 8. And then, we need to get the additive inverse of negative 12. So, kailangan natin siyang i-combine dito sa 8 para makuha natin yung standard form. So, you have negative 12. Get the additive inverse, magiging positive 12. So, you have here 9x squared plus 12x equals 8 plus 12. You have here 20. So, this will be the standard form. So, general form, you have here 9x squared plus 12x. 20 will become negative 20 equals to 0. So, this will be our general form. So, that concludes our lesson for today about expressing quadratic equations in both standard form and both standard form and general form. So, tatandaan lang, kapag standard form, you have ax squared plus bx equals to c. At kapag naman general form ay ax squared plus bx plus C equals to zero. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, and then stay tuned para sa mga susunod kong video tutorial. So thank you for watching.